great design has no sort of limiting time and it can inspire all sorts of different things. I'm William Hardy, the founder of Studio Hardy. We're known for our sort of mixing traditional craft and making and manufacture with real innovation, sort of trying to rethink things. I think it's really the marrying of the sort of thought process and philosophy and attention to detail with the make, balancing the sort of form and the function. This is the East Beach Cafe. It's something I've always wanted to visit. This cafe was built on a really long, thin strip, a very difficult shape to build a cafe. So he came up with this wonderful contoured pattern to make and break up this wall into something really interesting and beautiful. It ends up looking like something you'd find on a beach. The wonderful texture and the shapes look like they've been kind of mouthed by the sea. A brilliant piece of design. Though design needs to be functional and also beautiful, there's no reason why it can't be surprising and playful. And this is a wonderful example. The Longest Bench by Studio Weave, manufactured by Millimeter. It's a great example of how you're taking something quite normal and just pushing it to its maximum. Speaking of good design being full of surprises, a seat that moves back and forwards when you open the car. How cool is that? And I just love all these different buttons and features. Probably my favourite is this. The whole roof not only opens up, but lets the sky in. What a fantastic transformation of a small space. Another thing that's so important with the space is the sort of the other senses, the touch, the feel, the smell, the little red stitching that runs around the car and all the upholstery. It's just a really nice detail and it's a reminder that ultimately things are designed by human beings. Great design needs to be quality, have integrity, it needs to solve problems, it needs to be surprising and playful and ultimately 